everyone it's Shari Koti here and thank you for subscribing to my channel thank you for watching this video and just thank you thank you thank you for being your amazing self okay today's video is going to be about Korean pottery now you guys see a lot of those um, ceramic plates vases and all kinds of pottery work in Korean movies well, I am in the Korean Culture Center in Nigeria and as you can see I'm wearing a gat which uh, Okay, I think it's cute, but it keeps falling off my head. But let's see how it goes and I will be exploring a few um, Artwork or ceramic um, work that I find fascinating. I find them fascinating because you know unlike the Chinese um, pottery ceramic work and the Japanese ceramic work um, the Korean um, ceramic work is pretty very um, humble but beautiful. It has this um, simple view to itself but it's quite fascinating, quite amazing and I like the simplicity of life so I am drawn to this. <laughs> yeah, simplicity simple the better I guess but I am drawn to it and so I want to share it with you and if you happen to have seen any of these in any Korean movie then please let me know okay so let's get into exploring cha 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 Woo! One of my favorite pieces is the Munja because of how it's formed. The Munja is not perfectly round even though it's round. That's because the down part and the upper part is made separately and then put together in such a careful manner. So when you touch it, it is not perfectly smooth. This was one of the pieces that could be given to an emperor or a king in those days during the Joseon dynasty. I happened to find some tea in the hanok which I thought was um, cool to show you. So when you see a crane in a Korean pottery or a Korean dress, traditional dress or something, just know that it basically means longevity. Great. The white porcelains are in themselves white as you can see in the video but when you come closer you realize that they have engravings to them. Um, some of them have cranes which I have shared with you are symbols of longevity. Look at this detail in this lead. This is literally a lotus flower which is used to make the um, top of the cover. In those days, I learned that the artist, art, the pottery makers themselves, had to make sure that each of their pieces did have a beauty yet resembled nature because it was intricate that nature was, you know, exemplified in their piece of work. Ah, time to live like what you see in the K-dramas. Okay, I'm having a cup of tea. It's an imaginary cup of tea. Just know that I'm drinking something somewhere. When I was making my research, I learned that the jade color was first found by ceramic, um, Korean ceramic makers. 
when they were making the Gogoryo Cellar Dance. So this piece is representing the Gogoryo Cellar Dance. It's a vase and when you go farther you will find a an incense burner which has some rabbits to it. It's and of course the lotus flower. Okay guys, what did you think of this art um, piece of pottery that I showed you? Um, ceramic wok, the moon jar, uh, the uh, incense burner, the jade colors and all of that. I, I, I found them fascinating and if you did, do let me know in the comments what you like, which of them you liked and yes, in the meantime, have a beautiful, beautiful moment in life have a beautiful day and don't forget to subscribe to like to share with people you think are interested in korean culture and also don't forget to subscribe to the page that helps me and makes me feel supported and loved i guess but okay thank you so much for watching and in the meantime you could also share with me what um, topic you want us to explore what kind of topic you want us to explore and many more but in the meantime do have a great day and bye